Jackson. Today, we, 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 we turned up to show fair play for this man here, John the Jigger, right, and Willie Boswell. Willie Boswell rang us up yesterday asking to show fair play. It was no problem we done that, yeah. We bring them out to a spot in Manchester, that's where we're from, born and raised in this town, yeah. We bring the young fellow out for, for a fair fight, no problem. This fellow here drinks and smokes, whatever he was doing. He was on the bear last night, I had to get the young fellow out of the pub last night, yeah. The young fellow's there, up, oh, a big boxer up in Middlewich, saying he's there for an hour, but listen, he got out the van, all shouting and roaring, I said, trying to disrespect us, we're, we're from this town, you can't be coming in this town shouting your mouth off, thinking you get away with it, wouldn't that happen, right? So he got out, he was told once to keep his mouth closed, let the young have a fair fight and leave it as that. The whole world can see on the DVD here in a minute, right? The young fellow, first of all, he was told to stop the shouting and roaring, that's not fair play, you don't, you don't be allowed to roar, yeah? It was let go. Then he grabs the, you'll see him when they're fighting for a couple of minutes, he grabs his hand, hits him with a shot. Dirty go again. He was led away with it again. The third time the young fella said, right, all he went out today to do was prove, clear his wife's name, yeah? My cousin, yeah? The, the, the chap was going around talking about my cousin, it was let go. The young fella said, right, I've had enough, he puts his hand out, he goes in again, tries hitting two shots. Now, if we're refereeing a fight, my, my understanding of a fair play is that the man who's refereeing the fight, yeah, if someone intervenes in that fight or, or steps out of line, it's for us to check him. Simple as. And that's what we've done. We checked him, yeah? The fella Jerry, the reason Jerry, whatever happened to Jerry, because I'm not going to say what happened, but the people see what happened to Jerry, yeah? Jerry, you come in, you were told twice to keep your mouth closed. You're told, when, you, when your nephew fouled found, found your other nephew, because he is your nephew as well, when you fouled your other nephew, you were to, you, 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 you told uh, your, your nephew Willie, go on Willie, give it to him how you want to give it to him. Yeah? What's that making us look like? You know what I mean? So listen, if you've got anything to say about what, what, what happened today, listen, we will show any man fair play and he will get fair play, but if you stick, check out a line once then, you're getting a beating, simple as. This is our town. Manchester's our town. Like we get called all the time, council house boys. This, we're born and raised in this town. We know every country chap in the town. Simple as. Right? Now this young player will say what he wants to say, but what I will say, yeah, is if there's any messing about going around this man's, man's mother, mother and father's house, yeah, after we've told you, we told you after the fight, Willie, leave it as that then, yeah? You said no problem, he does he thing, you does your thing. And um, that, that, that's how it should be. But if anyone goes round thinking he's like this people's family and he's on his own, he's not he's my friend, I've known him all my life. Yeah? No, it, it won't be left happen. Now do you wanna leave it as that? Or if Jerry's sons, yeah, wanna have got anything to say, little Jerry, or, or the other foot food, wanna say anything, daddy's boys, if you just wanna say anything, get on the yoke and on my mother's grave, and you don't have to ring for a time or play, I come down to you and I bait you to death. Simple as, end of story. Say what you want to say, John. Jerry, listen, Willie. I put my hand out here. You still wouldn't leave it off. Tony run over, hit Jerry, the right stuff from because he wouldn't leave it go. You had the best of fair play. And anyways, you run and left your uncle on the floor to die, Willie. You're nothing but a tramp. It's done now, it's done. These is good men and come and watch me fair play. If I'd have been by myself today, you would have killed me. And whatever kind of man are you, you run and left your uncle dead on the floor, Willie. Listen, That's forget it. about all that now, it's Willie, listen. You do your own old thing, you're a clever old chap, right? No, no one can take that away from you. Do your thing up in Middlewich, live your own life with your family and let that be that. The young fella's on his own, the whole world wants to kill him. Yeah? Right, let the young fella get on with his life, try and get his old family back on track, all right? End of story. At the end of the day, Willie, you got told what's from the beginning to shut your mouth, what time you were carrying on. Yeah, I told you you were going to get the best of fair play. You got the best of fair play and you fell twice. Third time, what's on? You've done it again, so you deserve what you got, and you don't deserve what you got. But at the end of the day, we told you could be fair play. We did, and obviously you tried disrespecting us. So and Jerry, another thing, Jerry. Yeah, you said you said you, you, you were shouting your mouth. Oh, go on, give it to him how you want. I was pulling you after 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 that anyway. Yeah, after the fight, you tried Mason, my father, about eight years ago. Out where he bought a new Baroness Tabot off you, or a new new, new Tabot at the time. I don't, I don't know what the make of the trailer was, but you tried Mason, my father, right? Because my father's a quiet man. And another thing, yes, you started taking things out the trailer when he paid you for the trailer tables and bits of yokes and then when my father rang you up for the things uh, out the trailer asking you come on come down to salt the site the paddy dorky site uh, 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 if you want an argument try to bluff my trying to bluff my father with his brother-in-law my, my my mother's brother but listen that's here and there we don't need nobody and we don't give a fuck for nobody so if you ever want to say anything again about this matter please bring it back to us don't be all the youtube because we don't get on youtube and so nothing like that can you ring me phone he, he'll have me number or anyone else has our numbers ring us up me and my cousins will happily come down and oblige any man in the northwest of England. It's not a problem. And another thing, you'll never go around my mammy's house again, woman. You got a punch into the mouth, you wouldn't even hit back going around my mammy's house. I rung you the other night about that too. You should have brought your little queer of a son, the daddy's boy, rolls the Rolex watches and won't get a bit of dirt in his hands.